Josh, this is for you. Sky shot. And then I have What's up? It's Wild Bill the Night Owl with another video. I had this one uh, customer last, no, it, no, not last year, year before. It was less than an acre. I told her 40. She's like 40. I was thinking more like 20. Are you crazy? I said, uh, no ma'am, 40. And she, she's like, I said, look, one, I'm using my equipment. If my equipment goes down, I got to get it fixed. I got to maintain it. I'm using my gas. I'm using my truck to get me here. So what don't you understand? She's like, she's thinking about it. No, you're right. I didn't think about all that. Yeah, some customers don't really think all, you know, about all that. They just figure, oh, you know, they're going to come and cut the lawn. What's the big deal? There's a lot. There's a lot to it. I do this part-time. I love it. I can, uh, take my time yeah I got plenty of customers to enjoy it. if you don't like what you're doing <coughs> you're in the wrong field you get up every day and be like oh I got five yards to do and I oh, oh. Call it quits. I mean, yeah, I get up and I'm like, I I'm excited. I mean, most of the time I'm, I'm excited. <clears throat> Usually by Thursday, mainly Friday, I am exhausted. As long as you enjoy it, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. At first, the customers I got is just people from church or people I knew, my parents knew, you know, stuff like that. The customers, most customers came to me. Uh, I had people come up, hey, uh, can you cut my grass? Yeah, well, let me give you a price. I'd go there and give them a price. Some people were like, uh, that's too expensive. I, th I think I price fairly. I really do. I've had, I've been fired when I was a kid. This lady, she kept saying, oh, well, uh, uh, I don't want to cut this week. Can you do it next week? All right. You can't put a bagger onto that orange. Uh, it didn't even have a setting for the wheels. It was old school. And I kept telling her that. It's going to be clumpy. Well, guess what? I did it uh, a Sunday. Yeah, a Sunday. And she was on vacation. She came home at nighttime. I remember uh, walking out the door because she lived right across the street from me. Oh, my word. I'm walking up to the bus stop screaming at me and I'm like what's wrong and she's like my grass looks like crap I mean look at the clumps on it you couldn't even rake it mama I told you I told you it was gonna be clumpy I don't have a bag if I would have had a bag yeah but you now if it was high 
If it grew high every week, yeah, I would rake it. But no, I'm not going to sit there and rake your yard, your whole yard, because you want it done every two weeks or three weeks or whenever you want. No, that ain't going to work. Oh, she start cussing at me. I'm like, you know, and she's like, you're fired. I'm like, good. Good, thank you. You're a pain in my butt. Oh. I had a customer that every time, every time, I go in the backyard, kids' toys everywhere. At first, I used to pick them up, you know. I told the customer, I said, look, after, you know, I don't know, cutting it three times, I'm like, hey, you know I come here every Tuesday. Can you pick up the your kids' toys? Sure. So they did it for about a week or two. I said, you know what, I'm done. Because I went in the back and I walked to the front, rung the doorbell, and I said, look, I can't do it no more, I'm done. I'm done. Why? Because you don't pick up the your kids' toys. You know I come at, I, we, we've been through this. Well, okay. I've had some nasty customers. I had this one, okay? They would call me. They're like, oh, we'll call you when, when we uh, need uh, it cut. Okay. Uh, remember, I only do it like once a week or bi-weekly. Well, they call me in three weeks. The grass is like close to a foot tall. I have to double cut it. With a bag. I don't know. I think a week later, I was thinking about quitting because I told him, I said, look, Right now, this has to be done every week. The look on her face was like, I don't want to do it. I don't know. I don't want to know. I waited. It was four. It was. It was close to four weeks. They called me. I said, you know what? It's been close to four weeks. No hard feelings, but I'm done. Like I can't. I. I can't take it anymore with you. The customer is not always right. And I'm, I get so sick and tired of hearing, oh, the customer is always right. No, they're not. No, they're not. The customer is always right. They'd be cutting their own on. I don't know. I, the customers I have right now, pretty good customers. I had this one customer, and I, st I still got it, and I'm not going to mention their name because I don't even know who watches my videos. I don't know. It happened uh, about a month ago. They went on vacation. They're like, oh, Bill, can you take a picture? Because we're going to be gone for two weeks. Can you take a picture of, of the grass and send it to me? And we will let you know if you can cut it. You want me to send you a picture <clears throat> to see if I need to cut it? Yeah. Okay. All right, that's an insult. Say, like, I don't know when to cut it on. You know, I'm... Your customer's gotta have trust in you. I know when to cut it on. I've known these people. They know that. They know I'm not gonna cheat them out. I went and I took the picture. I already knew it didn't need it. It took them, took these people, 
a half an hour to get back to me. I left. No answer. I'm like, all right, well, I'll move on to the next one. They said, oh, yeah, you're right, because I text them the picture, and I put, I don't, I really don't, I, because I, what I did was, when I text them with the picture, I also put, it don't need it. Then they replied, I think you're right. You think? Some of these customers, I, I don't have patience. I, I, just, I really don't. Zero tolerance for stupidity. I mean, I've been through a lot. Not just that. I mean, I've been through so much. Pe people yelling at me. Uh, property lines. Okay? Property lines. That's one of my biggest things. Had a customer. I get there. Okay? Their next door neighbor is sitting on the porch. This guy comes down and he goes, I want my lawn cut. I said, what? I don't want my lawn cut. I'm not cutting your lawn. I'm cutting these people's lawn. Yeah, but uh, you were on my side of the lawn. Okay, I've been cutting this guy's lawn for three years now and the same way and you're just now telling me that where's the property line let me hold, hold on let me guess it's this mailbox right here right it's their mailbox right yeah well that's where i've been cutting i start getting upset the guy saw it you know saw that i was getting upset because i did i mean i i just i don't have patience for that i know where the property line is some sometimes i don't with new customers and i'll go ask you know i'll, I'll ask don't sit there and tell me oh well, you're you're on my lawn even even if i was an inch on their lawn who cares you get your people that it's like they just want to argue with you and honestly when they argue with me it, it, it's like i'll just argue back i mean i know it's the wrong thing to do but that's how i am so all right well i think i talked too much i i i hope you enjoyed this Say a prayer for my mom. Be nice to somebody. And I will see you on the next one. I'm out.